YouTube, 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 never fail. Logan Jay-Z are back with another sneaker review. Today I bring a pickup that I got. It was around Christmas time, 2020. I released another video, which it's in this video, uh, the sneaker that I, I'm gonna um, put it in. And uh, I said, Fire Red 4s. But this sneaker, I feel it wasn't as hyped. People weren't feeling it really going in. There were mixed emotions, so it wasn't as hyped. You know, it's the first time. It wasn't like a older retro or an OG colorway. So I just feel like, you know, it um, hasn't, left, it hasn't left its mark yet. So, but um, I was able to get them. I just never did a review on them. To me, they're called the Raging Bull 12s. They have nothing to do with Raging Bulls, but they are, you know, Michael Jordan sneaker. I play for the Bulls. Call them whatever I want. People call them whatever they want. My sneakers, their sneaker. Do what you want. It is what it is. So I want to bring you the box. The only thing missing from this OG style box is the Nike swoosh. You know, it's a jump man at the top, black jump man. He still got the, the vibes of the old Nike style box. You know, you got your whole thing going on there. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Jordan there. And then you got your tags there. There, Jordan 12 Retro. And I can't see from there. I'll tell you really quick. CT8013602. Colorways Varsity Rate and Black. Retail 190. Inside the box. Looking for stamp. There is no stamp, but it is a sticker here. You got your tissue paper. And you got your sticker, no stamp going on there that I can see. And here they are. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it's late and all, but still want to bring this to you. Want to show you these came with extra set of laces. And as you can tell, you got your three different color reds going on. Well, here, here, and here. Oh, man. What's going on with me? There. And um, so none of them match up with the sneaker. So that's one thing. But I don't care. I wanted the sneaker. Doesn't matter that. You don't have to put those red laces in. You can actually find another red that actually will match this upper. And so, but um, yeah. I like the sneaker. That's all that matters. I like red suede. So I have couple sneakers I want to show you that are part of the whole red suede collection that I have you got your black also hair and bone traction bar pattern going on what's going on with me you got your uh, red jump man hit right there going up to the midsole you got your little hit right there of two three in red as well black midsole on the heel you got your red two three there 23 goes here also you got your carbon fiber love that look nice touch and then the lines come up to the midsole here and here more going here you got this like reptilian pattern going here very sturdy midsole there and here as well then you got this leather piece right there the toe box as well as in the medial another piece right here a little plastic piece there on the lateral side it does have it it's a little longer and it says uh, jump man on there as I said you got this uh, red different colored part of the midsole then from your red suede upper you had the zigzag stitching going on there all throughout the upper normally that's not the case but with these they added the zigzag stitching which I like nice subtle different touch on the heel you have a black gray and white and red heel tab so at the top you get your little pull tab it's a little black jump out red outlining the square you got your red outline here and then it says uh, Jordan in gray and 
quality inspired by the greatest player ever in white there you got your black laces as i said it came with an extra uh set of laces which does not match the upper or the midsole but doesn't matter you don't have to wear these wear them with the black laces that's just an option that's why they threw it in there they should throw in more laces uh more often but they don't for whatever reason you got your black jump man at the top of the tongue you got your two three gz two three what's up brother and what else you have your plastic eyelids there little jump man there both sides sock liner is black back of the tongue is black And then in the insole, you have a black insole with a red, Varsity Red jump mat. So that's a sneaker really quick. Really like these. When I saw them, I couldn't wait to get them. As I said, people were mixed emotioned about the sneaker. You either love the 12s or you don't. You either love red suede or you don't. You know, you like the Bulls or you don't. You like Michael Jordan or you don't. So I like all of that. So and let's get into uh older sneaker i never reviewed them i don't know if i will maybe we'll see i'll get to it i mean i am going to show you them right now but you got your single day 13s right here and you can see it has a red suede upper but this one's more rich i like it again it doesn't match with the upper here the tumbled leather portion but again, either you like the sneaker or you don't, then you got your red laces there as well. And this right here rubs off and you got a pattern underneath. One of those little sneakers that you're like, oh, I didn't know that did that. So yeah. And let's see. And then you got your, I'll show you this one out the way real quick. And you can see that this one's more vibrant. Again, it's not there and you can call these raging bull 14s if you want i know these are singles day call them whatever you want raging bull 13s but you know we know it's a ferrari 14 this is inspired by the ferrari the sneaker so the whole thing the ferrari 14s whatever and as far as the suede uh They, they almost feel like this other pair I'm going to show you that I just reviewed. This one here. Uh, I haven't really... Uh, now this one feels a little bit better. I think this one's more in line up with this one. Yeah. As far as the, the feeling of the... um, I mean, the, the look of the... of the suede on this one. This one seems a little duller, just a little bit. Uh, I like the, the the shade of red. They're they're very similar in in the color whole palette realm, you know. So, and we have this one. I'll get this one in the shot too. I mean, I'm trying to compare the actual one here. I mean, you got this red there. And this one, it doesn't match up with the laces on the upper. So, come on. As far as complaining about that, you know. So, let me get this other one back in here. Because really didn't even put it side by side. As far as this one, it does look very close to it. Very close. I mean, they are made within the same production year. So, they are going to be. But as far as the material... This one's better uh, upper, is what I'm gonna say. So it's possible that it is this one here. Yeah, it feels more like this one. Again, this one does not have no backstroke. If I didn't already say that, this is uh, just another generic red suede. You know what I'm saying? 
just wanted to bring you a quick look at the red sways that I got right here. I was, I'm not pulling them all out, but I got a couple more. I wanted to bring them all out, but it's not a nice day. As you can see, it is okay. And um, maybe I'll just be doing reviews on these. And then to get them all in here, you know, to, you know just to, to show you the, the how close they look. Just for a couple seconds. It's not, not that crazy. You know what I'm saying? You see what it is. I love the red suede, man. And they're supposedly a red suede 13. I'm going to need those. That's uh, a must. It's just I need those. As far as having a lot of the red Jordans, but, uh, pre predominantly all red Jordans in the upper, there was the Bulls over Broadway 10s that I had. It was tumble leather. I'm not a big fan of the 10s. That was my only 10 I had for the longest. And I just never wore it. Just had it and wasn't really feeling the need to keep it. And I got rid of it. But, uh, if they come out with like a suede one, then yeah, but I'm not, I wasn't feeling like to keep it. I got the motorboat nines, which is not red suede. It's more of like a, I think it's a door buck. I wouldn't call it as a new buck. I, I, I really don't think it's a new buck. It's more of a door buck. We'll see how the materials hold up over the time of another 10 years. If they start cracking on the upper and getting all you know broken down new buck it um is more of the leather the door buck is a synthetic upper so yeah and so yeah looking forward to those 13s if they are coming out it's all red suede upper 13s and um little hits of black similar to this one very similar and uh yeah, I'm looking forward to those. Even though it's it's basically the same thing with the, with these. And um, there was another pair that I got all red, uh, 12s, which I haven't shown yet. It's it's basically the same thing. It's the little variations. You got the same sneaker, same color. You know, just looking different. You know, it's just Jordan milking it, and then people complaining about Yeezy. Uh, the the same sneaker, same color block. It's it's basically the same sneaker, just a different uh, colorway, but it's very similar. It's hard to tell the difference and all this stuff. It's blatantly right there. It's the same sneaker, uh, upper basically suede, red suede upper and different silhouettes. Yeah, Jordan has more um, silhouettes, but we'll see in time how many more Yeezy comes out with. And um, he's still doing it with the same uh, red, red, it, it's it's the red suede, um, the red, all red 12s and this one, the Raging Bull 12s, which I'm calling them, you call them whatever you want. Again, it's your boy Logan J. I hope you enjoyed the video and he's signing out. Peace.